Our universe is a place of boundless night. It's filled with mysterious things that take cover in the unending darkness. If you watch carefully, you may see they even have a story to tell. The Hidden Universe Showcase explores exciting new results in infrared astronomy from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. With your host, Dr. Robert Hurt. Halloween is a time of ghosts and goblins. We all see them sometimes, even astronomers. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope is capable of peering into the infrared recesses of the universe, revealing dark things unseen in visible light. Tonight we present Spitzer's Trilogy of Terror, a night gallery of haunting images that tell a tale of the lives and deaths of stars. Our first exhibit takes us deep within the star fields of the constellation Sagittarius. The serpentine dust filament is about 11,000 light years away and harbors quite a meal deep within its belly. Dr. Sean Carey first spotted this cosmic snake and tells us about it and its impending case of indigestion. It's a very large object which is going to form some of the most massive stars. It's a about uh, the size of a few solar systems in width and then its narrowest diameter. The snake's about 30 light years long. In the snake's belly currently now is forming a very massive star. It's going to be about 30 times the mass of our sun and about 100,000 times as bright as our sun. And once it fully forms, the radiation and winds from the star will blow the snake apart, will destroy its belly and will leave a huge cavity behind. We think of space as a total vacuum, but that's not entirely correct. The atoms and molecules are few and far between, but summed over dozens of light years, they add up to a ghostly glow that Spitzer can see. This ghoulish specter is a bit closer to home, just under 4,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. It harbors a cluster of about 10 massive newborn stars, and gives us a hint about our galactic snake's fate. Okay, so the galactic ghoul is what, it, what that snake is going to look like in a few million years. What's happening here is that the massive stars, like the one that's forming in the belly of the snake, have started to carve out the material that they formed out of, and they're blowing a huge cavity, and you can kind of see the rim of the cavity in the, in the reddish kind of color in the circle region, the, that outlines the face of the ghoul, and inside is that kind of greenish uh, gas which is uh, ionized by the hot young stars. Sometimes our eyes, limited to the realm of the visible, aren't enough to see what's hiding in the shadows. Consider this region, which, at a casual glance, shows little but stars and an hourglass-shaped smudge. Spitzer's dust-piercing view lays bare what's lurking underneath. Dubbed the Black Widow Nebula, this beast may show us a connection between spiders and snakes. The spider image we're looking at now is about the same distance and same size actually as the snake image that we looked at previously. And what's happening here is that there's winds and shocks from two massive stars forming that are colliding together like snow plows that are ramming head on. And of course they push everything in between them together. And when they push the stuff together, it becomes very dense and opaque. So it's quite likely that in a few million years, the spider shape will cool off and leave a snake behind. The snake, ghost, and spider have shown us different stages in the birth of stars. But coming full circle, let's consider a star's demise. Floating below the snake, we see a red orb that's pretty much the ghost of a long dead star. At the end of its life, it detonated in a violent supernova explosion. This blast wave marks its passing as a kind of cosmic trick-or-treat. The nasty trick was the explosion that wiped out the star and its solar system. But the process also spreads heavy elements back into the galaxy. This treat helps form the next generation of stars and planets. Looking for creepy creatures in the infrared sky is kind of like an astronomer's way of telling ghost stories around a campfire. In facing these fears, we can learn a little bit about the universe too. For the Spitzer Science Center, I'm Dr. Robert Hurt, reminding you there's a hidden 
and sometimes haunted universe just waiting to be discovered. The Hidden Universe is produced by the Spitzer Science Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. The Spitzer mission is managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory.